this tutorial you will learn how to install and configure Genova Framework in your Godot engine on Windows and Linux. On Linux you may face some issues that I will show you how to fix as well. Let's begin. Head to Genova Framework Repository and download the latest release for your platform. You can also grab the latest build snapshot from GitHub Actions in Genova Runtime Source Code Repository. You can find the download link to the latest build artifact under Upload Genova Runtime Snapshot Build. Let's place downloaded files on the desktop. Now we simply run the engine for the first time and it creates a project. Close the engine to continue installation. Open Genova Framework Release Archive and extract the Genova directory to your project folder. Okay. I'm gonna run the engine through the terminal to check if any error occurs. You may encounter the error for libssl as shown here. To fix this issue, you need to install libssl 1.1.1 on your machine. Let's go to documentation and check the details on this issue. Copy the commands from here and execute them in your terminal. Now the required libssl is installed, we can launch the editor again. And here we go. Genova is successfully loaded in Godot Engine. Now navigate to Package Manager to install the compiler toolchain. If the compiler package installation failed with a similar message, it means you don't have the required access. To resolve this, we simply run the engine with root access. Now that we have full access, we can install the compiler toolchain with no issue. When the toolchain is installed, you no longer need to run the engine with root access. Simply close the engine and relaunch with regular access to continue framework configuration. Navigate to the Package Manager and go to the Godot Kits tab. Install the proper Godot SDK by clicking on the Install button. Alright, we're all set. Now let's create a simple C++ script and test the framework. Great! It built successfully. Now let's launch the game. Awesome, isn't it? 
Let's quickly turn on the hot reloading feature and test it. Open editor settings, navigate to Genova settings and set external changes trigger mode to build project on script change. Change the script and save it. As you can see, changes happen in real time. Congrats! Now you can start coding in C++ in Godot Engine on Linux. Next, let's learn how to install Genova Framework on Windows. You can use Genova Framework on Windows 7 to 11. Let's begin. Head to Genova Framework Repository and download the latest release for your platform. You can also grab the latest build snapshot from GitHub Actions and Genova Runtime Source Code Repository. You can find the download link to the latest build artifact under Upload Genova Runtime Snapshot Build. Let's place downloaded files on the desktop. Now we simply run the engine for the first time and it creates a project. Close the engine to continue installation. Open Genova Framework Release Archive and extract the Genova directory to your project folder. Okay, run the engine again. And here we go. Genova is successfully loaded in Godot Engine. On Windows Build of Godot, we need to restart the engine again after first initialization of extensions. This is a Godot bug and it's not related to Genova runtime itself. Now navigate to Package Manager to install the compiler toolchain. After the toolchain is installed, go to the Godot Kits tab and install the proper Godot SDK by clicking on the Install button. Alright, we're all set. Now let's create a simple C++ script and test the framework. Great! It built successfully. Now let's launch the game. Wonderful, isn't it? Let's quickly turn on the hot reloading feature and test it. Open editor settings, navigate to Genova settings and set external changes trigger mode to build project on script change. Change the script and save it. As you can see, changes happen in real time. Congrats! Now you can start coding in C++ in Godot Engine on Windows. In last part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the automatic installer of Genova Framework. Head to Genova Framework Learning Center and navigate to Getting Started page. Go to Automatic section and click on link to download Automatic Installer. Launch Godot Editor to create a project. Close the editor. 
Now launch the installer. Enter your project directory path and click on Install Genova Framework. Wait for the installer to finish processing. That's all. Now you can run the engine and use Genova Framework. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I have a little surprise for you. This entire tutorial was running inside Genova Emulator. I'm not joking. That's the real power of Genova Framework. See you in the next tutorial.